Hey everybody, this is Rano, and we are back with more FTL. Last episode, we unlocked a new ship, the NG Type B, the Vortex. This is a almost completely automated ship, and it comes equipped with an anti-personnel drone, so no more intruders, kind of, that fights off intruders and two system repair drones. It also has a heavy laser Mark 1 and a heavy ion. And only one guy, one crew member, would lose this one crew member, which we've been doing a lot of lo losing of crew members. And we're done. How we got this new ship? We got all three achievements. You only need to get two achievements to be done. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I really, really would love to beat the game. I've got a little surprise I've decided to give. As soon as we beat that first, beat the game once, I'm going to give you a surprise. And I would like, and I'm going to give myself a surprise, even though it wouldn't be a surprise to me, but I would like to beat the game. So, just on easy even. I, I'm not even saying beat the game on normal. Our augment here is the drone reactor booster, which just makes your drones go 50% faster, which is kind of a high boost if you think about all your problems. All the issues that go on. So, we start off with 6 drone parts, 16 fuel, and no missiles. I have no sensors at all installed. What an interesting <laughs> setup we have here. <laughs> so we don't even have the sensor subsystem installed. So we have no idea what's going on in that area. Talk about a strange ship. So we can go ahead and power the anti-personnel and furthermore I can just open all the doors except for this one room. Just leave the doors completely open. My little robot here, my drone with 150 health should not need oxygen. We will experiment on this right now. 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. Great. So, the only thing I could really do is probably close this section off just so I don't have, I have oxygen in the healing place. I guess I need to run my guy to heal. If he dies, it is game over. <sighs> so, we should not lose our drone until he is destroyed. Drone parts don't need to be as high as you would think. Not at the moment, at least. We are going to... All logic says we need to do a pacifist run just now well we need to do a pacifist run even if it's not going to give us the achievement so we're going to avoid all fights we can fight avoid well that that didn't last that long <laughs> did not last long at all well, so immediately we start fighting. I was just saying we we needed to do a pacifist run and try and avoid all fights. And first place you jump, you're in a fight. What are you supposed to do? 
I think the only real way we can do pacifist threat is we're gonna have to unlock a ship that starts off with like cloaking or something like that. Oh, forgot to turn on auto fire again. <laughs> There is strategy to actually not using auto fire if you really want to control it because the ion would take down the shield and then um, and then we could attack their weapons and make sure we don't miss. Alright, last run we refused to accept sur uh, surrenders. This run I think we'll get back to this. Our ship is just too weak. For anything below that. Let's see. I literally can't repair this section. I I could close off the the oxygen and let it fill up and then go and repair it, but I don't think it's worth it. Once we get a little bit more scrap, we will have well just one scrap short of getting another. I also heard that you should target weapons. Maybe that's part of the problem. I looked up a lot of strategies, as you've seen in these episodes so far. Struggling is a little too high. I mean, we're struggling a little too much. More than I would like. See, so the strategy I've heard I saw online. Attack their weapons, then you can just sit here and beat on them. Every time you fire, you can gain experience if you have a manned crew member in your weapons section, which we don't on this ship. I've also heard crazy strategies like, yes, you can toggle the shields on and off and get one experience. And so you'd have to take power off and then put it back on and I'm never gonna do something like that that would just be too annoying for video all right so we have a hole breach these drones only have 25 health to repair but they do not need oxygen Imagine flying a ship around the galaxy and you're you're not even bothering to put oxygen in it. I want to boost the med bay. Another strategy I saw. So I'm not just thinking this up off uh, out of nowhere. Is if we boost the med bay pretty early, we'll get a lot more options, a lot more blue options when we. Um, run into encounters, and that would be nice. More blue options. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. The the main da danger to drones is if a missile goes in here, it will probably damage the drones on top of damaging drone control. And all these guys... I suppose... Can I click on them and tell them to go somewhere? It doesn't seem like I can manually control the drones. They just go wherever they want.
So I have my two drones here, but they're not taking any more power. Let's jump. Let's get out of here. So... I'm gonna have them scout the sector. 14 scrap seems like a good trade. So, I only have to use this once? No, I have to use it to repower it. Shoot. So, potentially, my drones have not been getting power for the, a little while. So this was the island, I lost power, I can put the power back in. It did not take any more drone parts though, so I'm fine with that. Could try to get to this distress signal. But should I? Should I just be running? I mean, really, should I just be running? This is such a strange setup. I guess I should... I'm just gonna run. Ooh, not good. So what, I can go to the civilian sector. I can go to here, then here, then here, then here. Then either one of these, then here. And I suppose I still want to go to Homeworlds, but man, I really don't see myself. Um, surviving any battles. Okay, NG crew, you locate a source of the stress call, a nearby human mining colony, and unknown diseases spread virulently among the workers that are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate it. So I can send my crew, who's NG, down to calm down the infected. But if I lose my one crew member, it's game over. And, and you, I suppose you could lose your crew member in a decision like this. A lot of this stuff is, though, just random. With no fear of catching the disease, the NG members will organize. That's nice. It's nice that it worked out. Lead them. You, once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't pilot plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? Alright. Special quest. We can do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade that. I don't know if you really need to power it. I don't even really think you need to power this much. This guy's at 100 health, so we got one extra power. Want to get my second drone shields up pretty fast, and then I want to get the dodge up pretty fast. Let's see, what else would I want to do? I don't think you get any options for upgrading o oxygen. I think you do get options for having more, um, more of this. Let's upgrade both of these. That would only be 40, so let's upgrade this, this, and this. Eventually work on this, and work on this to at least two levels and this as much as we can. I mean, I could get a, I could double our dodge right now. Just by 10 scraps, so definitely worth it. And the quest here is right next to it, great. The 
ship you were escorting thanks you. I didn't think we could make it without you. It's literally one jump away. They patch your hole and show you their wares. Interesting. Now it would be so great if we had any money at all. So if I sell this for 15, I'll have 19. And what can I buy for 19? Nothing. Sensors, teleporter. Notice here the crew teleporter is only 75. <laughs> if we could get two anti-personal personnel drones and teleport them to the other ship, we could take out their ship. And it turns out that I found out that teleporting over and killing crew members gets you a lot more scrap. So if you just teleport to the ship, kill all the crew that's there. We could get a lot more scrap, but we would have to get the teleporter and we gotta get scrap first to do that. I think the thing though that we run into more often than anything else is a problem in this guy's repairing himself I don't know how he's doing that So I need to close the doors. I need to run in these unoxygenated sections and repair the droid. And I need to repair it before I die. Now I need to run back here and not die. Put my power back in the repair bot. Specific disadvantage too here of of this. So he's literally suffocating and being healed at the same time. So his health is staying even at 15. And that's only because I have the up... Well, actually, I didn't put enough power in it. Oops. Well... So it keeps it even at one bar. It would have been healing him the whole time if it had been any other. So, drones repair. Look at this. Interesting to note. Still think it's smarter to have the oxygen out, though, because you're avoiding fires, you're avoiding um, potential people coming on board. It is important to realize, figure out what the percentage is though. What percent of your entire ship is this one room full of oxygen? It's probably 8%. I think that's what I saw. So... We could upgrade the door, we could upgrade the piloting, and 
gonna upgrade the piloting. Right now. The thing we run into more, more than even fights, is occurrences. Screens popping up. You get one every single jump, pretty much. There are a few. They, few jumps where you don't get one. So, when you know that, getting the blue options, doing a few really small upgrades to get blue options, is probably the most bang for your buck. I think this game tries to balance. I don't think it success, succeeds at balancing based on what ship you started with and all that, but I think it tries. If you start off with a really weak ship, it, the game does not become a lot easier. If you start off with a really strong ship, the game does not become a lot harder. It would be difficult to make this game much harder. I'm sure they could find a way, but it would not be enjoyable. So we've got our dodge up a little bit. We've upgraded everything to two. I don't think we need to upgrade everything to three. I think two is good enough. Defense Drone Mark 12. So now we've got something useful. Instead of having a system repair drone, let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. So we can sell that guy. Of course. Defense drone Mark II fast flies faster than Mark II and can shoot down incoming lasers. This will take a scrap part to charge it, but that's fine. It takes the maximum of four, so I need to upgrade my drone system quite a lot just to get two more. And I would want the system repair guy charged. Off to the next sector we go. Well, I was gonna go this way anyways, and it's the Mantis Homeworlds. We're at the Homeworlds, I don't see a scenario where I can actually, um, where I could actually unlock the ship I'm trying to unlock. Mantis guys are powerful. So immediately we're in a fight. So it'll be interesting to see if this thing really helps. It's going to shoot down missiles and weapons and such. I wonder if you had like four shields and three defense mark twos, if it would just be impossible for anything to hit you. I doubt it. I doubt it would be impossible for the final boss to hit you regardless of your setup. I don't think there is an overpowered scenario in this game that beats the overpowered scenario of the final boss. Be nice if I could play as the final boss. <laughs> that would be pretty overpowered. So.
So if I take power off this and stick power to this, am I wasting a scrap drone part? Or can I put power back on the drone and it will come back? It's flying off the screen. I don't, I don't think so. I think we just lost our drone. Nope, it came flying back. Interesting. So, suppose as long as it's powered when we jump, we'll get to keep it, right? I hope. Nope, that's another drone part. So we've got a big problem here. Every time we use this defense thing, we're going to use the drone part. <laughs> we might have been in trouble. And they're immediately trying to get to... They're being right into the room. My guy is holding his health level just fine. Let's finish this fight, I'll send him to the location to be healed up. Just barely made that, made it out alive. Would the anti-personnel drone have really helped? Probably. A little bit, not as much as I think though. So. Having your health upgraded that fast though, your med bay upgraded to two is nice. Another drone part wasted. Are all large ships systems repaired? So I need another 60 here. I need another energy bar too. Do we want to do distress calls? I guess we, we kind of feel the need to. Kind of feel the need to. All right. Find a number of ships fleeing a small space station. You hail them. What's wrong? Help will be overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. I have heard. <laughs> you never want to mess with the giant alien spiders. <laughs> that you will lose your crew member if you send them here. But I do have an anti-personnel drone, so I'll just send him. You pull alongside the station and release the drone to the airlock with in a short time the majority of the creatures are dead and they're only a little collateral damage. They express their most sincere gratitude. Three fuel, three missiles. Lost the drone part. Okay. And we got some scrap. Not a big problem. That That is probably the only scenario in which you would want to do that though from what I've heard Let's just keep going forward towards the exit do I want to even bother with the uh, defense too. I don't think I do. I think we're gonna be able to get this to work 
just fine. <laughs> One more hit. finally get this upgraded enough that I can now activate the defense and the end the personnel still need like two or three upgrades here and another weapon and two more shield upgrades we're not getting tons of scrap but we are getting pretty far and that's it for the homeworld sector here we didn't do what was necessary to unlock the ship, but I didn't think we really were. So we have Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula. We'll take Uncharted Nebula. Just want to get out of the Nebula. Even in a ship like this. Just want to. Is this a smart move? I don't know. I don't think it probably is. It's probably a really, really dumb move. Let's see what their weapons can do. I do believe I hear a fire already in our ship. You know, destroying pirates is one way to pass the time as your FTL charges. Uh, I think they're about to jump, so I'm gonna accept their offer. If I go here, I could go here and maybe go here, so I don't want to go there. A rock arm and transfer nuclear looks like it's lost its bangs, but when you hail them, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find that you're repugnant. We seek no aid, leave now. Okay. I mean, I don't want to get in a fight with somebody if they don't want want me bound particularly in this store storm <laughs> I will take take that as a blessing and just leave mantis ship lost in the storm hills you senses are out we have no local terminal telemetry we'll take yours to detect an increase in their weapon system <laughs> really Just gonna take mine. Well, I think I have something to say about that. Let's get our shields back online. Can't get to the defense thing online though. Oh, Let's take out these intruders. <laughs>
drone's health versus their health. Hmm. Install this. Actually, let's install this. So the drones repair themselves as long as the drone control is working. So we don't have to worry about Teleporting anymore. I just have to worry about the ship destroying my ship. And I am getting hull damage like crazy. What can I do? I can take this down and power this up, I suppose. This has been a crazy, I'm gonna start eulogizing myself now and just say this has been a crazy, crazy style of ship. I don't know what the trick here is. There's definitely some trick. There has to be some trick. It damaged my drones. So now my system repair drone is not working. I can't jump because the engines are damaged. The only thing I can come down here and do is do this with my one human crew member. Which by the way is low on health. Who knows when that happens. We're down to one hole damage. So I see no that way we're gonna get a lot get out alive. So let's jump. Did not work, we're in another fight. <laughs> Didn't matter. Didn't matter one bit what we did. So we've jumped from one fight to the next fight. We have one whole damage. The ships are even more deadly. That was pretty cool. Shooting down the missiles. It doesn't matter though. Wow. 718 score. We did pretty much nothing on that. Our top five is the lowest score we've ever done for our top five at this point is 1800 best of ship. This is the best for type B, but this feels like a super hard mode. Super, super hard mode. Type thing. What is here's the pacifist? Um, get to sector five without firing a sh shot. So, using an offensive drone or teleporting. How would you even do that without cloaking? I think you pretty much have to have cloaking. But then again, I guess that's why they call them achievements. 
so we got pretty far considering that ship was just a nightmare ship I mean look at it there's just nothing here that really says you can win in a fight and all we see in this game is fights it's just fight 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 so we probably won't be playing a lot of the vortex at all next episode we'll be playing the kestrel I want to beat this boss I want to beat this game one time and then I've got a surprise for you that I think is gonna make everybody happy but that's it for this episode as always like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of the video all of that helps and have a good day